Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have x to the power 3 times x to the power 15 equals 100, and we're going to be solving for x. We'll first manipulate the base and the exponent, and then solve the problem. I'll first solve the problem and then show you the general type, which you can use to make up your own problems. And at the end, I'm going to show you a graph. Ready, set, we have x to the power 3 times x to the power 15 equals 100, and we're going to solve for the x values. So I want to first of all write the right-hand side as 10 squared. And then I want you to notice one thing here, and that also is going to help you understand the general form. 3 times 5 is 15, and 2 times 5 is 10, right? So 10 is the base. If I multiply the exponent by 5, I get 10. If I multiply 3 by 5, I get 15, which is the exponent of the exponent. Sort of. Anyway, so hopefully you get the idea. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to raise both sides to the power 5. And that is going to do the trick. Let's see how this goes. This is x to the power 3, x to the power 15 times 5 equals 10 to the power 2 times 5, which is 10. And now 3 and 5 are multiplied. So this gives us x to the power 15, x to the 15 equals 10 to the 10. Does that ring a bell? Hopefully it does. Now I can do the following. These two expressions are multiplied, therefore they are exponents. Uh, so I can put the 15 inside the parentheses and then write it like this. x to the power 15 to the power x to the power 15 equals 10 to the power 10. In other words, I use the property a to the power b to the power c equals a to the power bc or vice versa. All right. And this is really cool because we can replace x to the power 15 with y. And that gives us y to the y equals 10 to the 10. And from here, we can basically conclude that y is equal to 10. Right. And y is x to the power 15. Therefore, x just becomes 10 to the power 1 over 15 or the 15th root of 10, which is a small number, right? I mean, take the root, uh, the more you take, the smaller it's going to get. All right, so that's basically how you can find the answer, right? We can't find it directly. Let's go ahead and take a look at the general form and see how that um, correlates with this. The general form of these equations, now you might be wondering um, if you can come up with a problem like this. You could definitely do that. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So the general form is going to look like this. x to the power a x to the power a k. And this is equal to b k to the power b. And I'll tell you what the a, b, x values are. I mean a, b, k values are, not x. So notice that a, k and b, k are both multiples of k. So that makes sense if you raise both sides to the power k. That's what we're going to do to solve this problem in the general case, which is kind of cool because you don't, you're not given the variables or what the values are, but you can still solve it. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the power k. The left-hand side is going to be a, or I should probably write the k first, k, a, x to the power a, k. And the right-hand side is going to be b, k to the power b, k. Now, the left-hand side needs a little bit more work, but... Look at this ka or ak, we can put it inside as x to the power ak and then raise it to the power x to the power ak. Don't forget there's another x here. And this is equal to bk to the power bk. And what does that tell you? The same idea, exact same idea, x to the power ak must equal bk, right? Easy. And from here, you can find the x value very easily. x equals bk to the power 1 over ak. Or you can use the radical, right? So in our example, if a is equal to 3, k is equal to 5, and b is equal to 2, then we get x to the power 3, x to the power 15 equals 100, which is 10 squared. And you already know how to solve this. Now, you can go ahead and play around with this. Please let me know how that goes. You can replace a with 2, k with 4, b with 7, whatever. And then you're going to come up with a different problem every time. All right, great. So we found the general form and let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. Now, what graph am I talking about? I'm talking about the graph of 
y equals x, x to the power 3, x to the power 15. Obviously, 15 is a very large number, so this grows up real quick. But between, notice that between 0 and 0 0.7-ish maybe, it's going to be like super duper slow. And then it's going to go down, which is kind of interesting, right? Going to make a minimum, and then it's just going to shoot up. Uh, the reason why you don't see this here is because it didn't fit, unfortunately. But imagine there's a horizontal line at y equals 100, and they do intersect at a single point because our function is going to be increasing on that interval. And the x value for that is going to be the 15th root of 10 or 10 to the power 1 over 15 as the solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.